All right, 17 House Democrats, including far left squad members, are there any far right squad members arrested by Capitol Police after blocking traffic outside the Supreme Court to protest abortion rights? They look so upset, right? Congresswoman AOC pretending to be handcuffed, keeping up the charade while being led away by police dramatically. Outkick founder Clay Travis is here to react. Clay, have you, is this very similar to the way Peter Navarro was taken out, except for the leg irons and the handcuffs? <laughs> uh, look. AOC is an Instagram influencer who happened to get uh, elected to Congress. And what everything that she does, once you accept that reality, makes complete sense. It's all about show. It's all about sizzle. There is almost zero substance behind it at all. And this personifies this perfectly because the reality is a huge percentage of people who are AOC fans, and she knows this, are going to see a five-second video of her slowly walking away with her hands behind her back like she has been handcuffed. They are never going to yeah. do any research beyond that, and they are going to say, oh, look, here's AOC being walked away for standing up for my rights, for her rights, what a hero she is. Go AOC. It is social media personified. It is Instagram influencing personified. That is AOC at her very essence. And Elo Omar, too. I mean, the same thing, invisible handcuffs. Yeah, of course. And so, so there you go. That's so, right. But I, I think that people who are online, probably savvy the most, will understand if they just look a little bit further that it's a total lie, that she's working with her hands behind her back. And she waves to yeah, the crowd well, within five seconds and puts her hands back behind her back. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure she's wishing that she hadn't raised. I think she actually raised her hand into a fist, uh, you know, power to the people, so to speak, AOC. Uh, but what that's that's you, Brian, saying, hey, I want to know the full truth behind what was going on here. Right. The Instagram influencer universe doesn't care about the full truth. They care about their narrative being confirmed in that short five second video. I mean, look, this is the Internet in general. Did you see the video with the Sesame Street? the little kids who were standing beside and weren't waved at, and then we have a five-second clip, and it turns into an entire investigation over whether the Sesame Street mascot is racist or not. People don't want, by and large, context. Right. They want whatever their preconceived emotions and expectations are to be fulfilled. Right. And for those people, and AOC is smart enough to know that. That's the Instagram-influencing but, universe in general. That's so what let, this let will me, represent. She was arrested. She was treated unfairly. Let me just take, bring you to... Jim Harbaugh of the University of Michigan, uh, quarterback of the Bears. Yeah. Uh, we'll go back just real quick. Uh, he said this, I believe in having the courage to let the unborn be born. I love life. I believe in having a loving, caring respect for life and death. And he goes on with a long statement that he's pro-life. Will he get any backlash on campus? Oh, he certainly will uh, on campus, I think, because he's at the University of Michigan, which is, uh, let's be honest, a relatively woke university. Majorly uh, woke. And he's already getting a massive amount, uh, Brian, of backlash from the sports media, which claims all the time, hey, we wish coaches and athletes would speak out more about political related issues. But as soon as they speak out about political related uh, issues that the left wing sports media disagrees with, People say, oh, why in the world is Jim Harbaugh sharing his opinion on abortion in the first place? Uh, that's what goes on. People in sports media love to praise athletes and coaches. When those athletes and coaches share opinions that the sports media agrees with, as soon as they step outside the lines, they get crushed, which is already happening to Jim Harbaugh. And I don't think he cares. He just signed a long-term contract. Worst comes to worst, he'll go to the NFL. That's true. That's and good. he won the Big Ten. Congratulations to him. He finally got it done. Let's see if he can do it again. Out Kick.com uh, is a place to find out what is clicking. Uh, Clay Travis, thanks so much. Thank you all. Appreciate it.